How are you doing? I'm going to China in a few days. I'm going to be away for two weeks. And this means you're going to lose the access to services like Google or Facebook. And it sucks in general, apart from being the exciting bit. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect to my PC and hopefully I'll be able to check on my emails and stuff. And in the meantime, I finally finished the project of the PC controller. Uh, so this is something to control the PC and something to access the PC while I'm away. So I hope I'm going to take advantage of this. And this is the demo about this. Um, the tutorial, you can see this on the screen right now. Um, this tutorial is going to be in four parts and each part is going to focus on a separate part of this widget and I'll show you how to um, basically build it. This is an entire framework, which means I've spent extra time uh, just putting things together so you could slot in your own choices and it shows you how to load things and how to get the feedback as well. So it's a little bit more complicated than you think and it's not material for a single tutorial. So uh, I'm going to show you how it works now and uh, later on I'll upload the video with it, the first part of the tutorial. So there are a few things I can do. I can wake up the computer using the button. So let's do just that. And then we can control it. Sorry, I had to start it again. So the computer is waking up now. And once it wake up, it will update in a few seconds uh, status. So if someone's going to use the computer uh, as well, you're going to get a notification. Yeah, that's great. It will tell you what time you woke up and what the settings are, etc. So we can modify the settings, we can change the volume of uh, we can select a, I'll either mute the volume or make the volume louder. That's no problem. We can play some music. And once the playback is obviously there, we can control the volumes. I have a mute and three steps for the volume control and this is the loudest one. So as you can see everything works great. Alright, let's just uh, mute this. Next up, some application control. So um, for streaming to Steam Link, I have uh, um, Steam, I have Amazon. If I want to steam, uh, or stream some music there, and if I want to just play games, I can use the Steam account instead, or open the browsers. It opens in the background right now. I will just close everything altogether from the browsers. That's no problem. Next up, up some screen um, timeout controls. So I can sh set it very short for the times when I'm accessing the computer via remote desktop and I don't want the screen to burn and obviously the controls to lock the PC uh, gives you time it was awake and time you locked it and uh, let's lock it for example yeah then it's locked and it will show you that it's locked and also update when um, someone's gonna unlock the PC so um, have a look just gonna quickly unlock the PC for you and once uh, the PC is unlocked, uh, also you're going to get that notification and access to other functions. So it takes a few seconds, I set it a little bit longer, so uh, it would always have a chance to send uh, uh, updates to uh, mobile. Yeah, everything works. All right, uh, next up is going to be a tutorial in four parts. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button, it's free. And uh, obviously, the more of you I hear, uh, the better giveaways I can organize for you. So make sure you follow me on uh, uh, social media or subscribe to my newsletter and you'll get a notification about extra things happening uh, on my website on notenoughtech.com. So I'll see you around then. Bye. Widget. Um, this is in Thanks. That's it.